Lighter in itself is, is a, it's a gathering of people with one goal, and that is to make our country, our municipalities resilient in terms of disasters, specifically flooding. Initially, we had a project with Manila Observatory. Tapos with Manila Observatory, we were introduced to the people, personnel from UP, specifically Sir Eric Paringit. And with that, we were able to know that UP has this project, which is the UP Dream. And from that, we have known that they'll be expanding to Phil Lider, and we were invited to give a proposal and fortunately it was accepted so now we are part of LIDAR. Pag una na ko abot diri, abi na field work na ba yung mas katrong mas kadlaw ni abot. So kusog yung ulan, kanang kan ka siyang experience. Katano? Sa year one, medyo medyo mas kung ikumpara na ko sa mga later years, ang year one ang marag medyo pinaka kano? Marag siya ang pinakamadugo kay Marag siya bre first first time na mo mag mag add to addog field so marag wala pa kayo may experience kung sa on pag uh, buhat sa mga utang common feeling naman din to among among the RAs kasi na napakamilahan everyone was really uh, everyone was from square one talaga we're actually learning and, and scavenging for resources para para matuto yung sa mga methods the methodology was actually very new to everyone and uh, somehow the good thing about it was we were able to learn from each other uh, para mi kami natutunan along the way sabay-sabay kami lahat natuto very challenging for me because it's my first time here in Sambanga and also it's my first job so a new pathway na hindi talaga generic kung ikaw ay isang civil engineer so I appreciate the challenges lalo na ang daming bago as in the processing sa flood modeling sa hydrologic modeling bagong bago talaga kaya na nag-aaral talaga mo ang experience ko is marami maraming mga lugar na napupunta namin maraming mga tunan mga new things ideas learnings Itong project na kasi ito, hindi ito puro masaya lang. Mayroon din, ano, oh, buwis buhay. Yung ganun. At the same time, nakakatulong ka rin sa mga tao. Shock on to. First fieldwork ka tanawin yun. No? Shock on. Kasi ngayon, da, <laughs> mga na, nakuha namin yung biyari, mga less than six hours or so. Parang inuuli or hinahabal namin yung mga ulan. <laughs> yung mumakyat sa mga sakipit river na may mga nangyayari, <laughs> may nahimatay. <laughs> o di ba para sa bahayan, o saan ka pa, di ba? Pero masaya, masaya experience kasi na yung hindi mo nagagawa dati, nagagawa mo ngayon. Yung hindi mo napupuntahan dati, napupuntahan mo dahil sa akin. For year 3, yung processing na yung pinaka mahirap, it was getting busier compared sa year 1. And then, yun sa fieldwork naman, mahirap rin kasi at the same time na kayo na gumagawa ng fieldwork and gumagawa ng processing. So, nagbibitlit kami ng laptops to process the data sa fieldwork mismo. Ang usually ang ay ang ko jud ang dinay maibutan is kanang mag overtime og field work sa kanang gabi ra gabi iyo ka mga risky na mga field works like kanang na mga field works na kusog ang ulan ah uh, or kusog ang agos sa river so syempre madlok ka nang mga kanang instrument madlok ka deploy kay basing wala ka mawala mo yan sure yan dinay maibutan ang hirap pa talaga pag inaccessible yung place na pupuntahan kailangan ng security tapos yun yung may may ano yun hesitation hesitation ng bunta kasi baka yun baka may dulo going to places that we do not know going to the mountains 
and not giving up. If we go to a particular place, tapos we are not able to get the data, we go up, go, go, go upstream. So, pag wala pa rin, mas mataas pa. So, in other words, hanggang hindi makakuha ng data, kahit ilang beses na-deploy ang mga sensors, kahit tumuulan, kahit nagkakasakit yung mga kasama ko, basta makakuha lang ng data, yun yung trabaho namin. Yun, yun siguro sa akin yung buwis buhay na ginawa, ginagawa ng mga kasama ko. Uh, the time when we had our field work sa Limbapa, it was night time. And I guess, unforgettable dito sa iba na nakasama ko that time. Around two hours, three hours away from the city. It was around nine in the evening. And it was raining really hard. And the road was very dark. My colleagues went to the hanging bridge. Uh, para lang ma-install namin yung mga equipments namin. Everyone was still very hyped, very energetic to do the job. Kasi we know na at the end of the day, kahit risky pa to, we are doing it for something far beyond ourselves, I guess. And that's that's quite very fulfilling to actually know that you are doing something na mas malaki pa sa'yo. For all the field work na lang, satisfying kasi wala talagang na sa mangyayari. The prayer before any field work, that's actually one, that's one, one of the things that I'm thankful for. Because in spite of the things that we are doing, in spite of the places to where we went, nothing happened. It was, a uh, defining moment for me because yun nga, we were trying to uh, not really risk our lives but challenging and then at the same time we there, there's a time that we could reflect on what on the purpose of our job really i realized that there's really a big gap between the local government units and the researchers like us so it was really challenging to translate this this research to them in a way that they could understand the importance of this. Uh, mahirap i-convince, lalo na pag kailangan mo ng assistance sa mga LGUs. So it, it takes time, especially pag urgent na talaga or kailangan natin ng mga assistant nila. Challenging also to, to tell them or to, to convince them how important our data is for them, not for us. Especially that um, they are the they are the people who will benefit of this. Sila sa Babida, meron silang toting device, meron silang bangka, meron silang bakho, meron silang bulldozer. Maganda naman yan na kailangan talaga ng mga gobyerno yan, kailangan ng mga munisipyo. Pero siguro, what they failed to understand is, baka more than the, more than the equipment, probably they should also listen to us from the lighter people. Because there's a science in disaster, and learning the science behind the disaster or before the disaster, we can make projections and we can make our lives safer and safer for the people. Let's grow together, heal together, find true strength from one another. Smiles be many, tears are few. May all your dreams come back to you. It's a brand new day, a brand new way. I sing like a bird, brother, fly away. Up up the mountains, up through the skies. My dreams last forever. Of course, uh, I know I'm Dr. Palingit. I know somehow Dr. Ayel, but uh, I never thought that uh, these top people that I considered uh, during our training days in UP, that I will be able to, somehow, I have the chance to work with them. Work and learn from them. Uh, I am envisioning that somehow, in a way, one day that uh, we could be, we will be part of a bigger picture with this uh, cutting-edge technology, and it is uh, lidar. First, we are thankful that the, there's a project of the national government 
regarding LiDAR, we can incorporate it and we can revise our action plan, municipal action plan of the municipality of Lubason, and of course our contingency plan based on uh, new hazard map that is provided by the DOST. Ako kay katabang ng LiDAR map sa atua dali sa Lubason sa Lubason. At least pag rescue na to kung pila kabalay ng dinha nga maigo ugyod sa flooding, at least ang ato ang pagtabang sa DSWD sa ato ang Look, sa itong munisipyo, dali rata maka-identify pila katao ng itong kabanganan. Moto nga sa prevention nga ito, importante yung gayos. Nga bisan to, dog layo-layo or tagamay sa naitabuan, pero ang ito ang kuwan galihok yun, ang ito ang disaster. Muna, sa pangatong paglihok na ito, watakadahong nga naagid ay marisyo na ito. No? This project will be very helpful to the city of Zamboanga in terms of disaster preparation, in terms of gauging the capacity of our city, in terms of working uh, in managing disasters. But the Ateneo de Sambuang University is committed to development. In particular, the LiDAR-1 project is strategic in providing inputs that will make our cities better, that will make our countryside better, that will make our strategies for urban and rural development more attuned to the realities of the ground. It is not only the opportunity for ANSU, for myself, but I am considering as opportunity knocking on these 25 team members. Well, personally, I'm thankful because uh, I was given the opportunity to be able to serve not only the community, of course, as they were saying, para sa bayan.